it's Fudgy. Uh, welcome to my house. It's the morning before the second T20 International uh, against New Zealand at Supersport Park in Pretoria, uh, my home ground. So I'm just going to take you through my place and um, what goes on before, before match day. Welcome, come inside. Yeah, this is my place. Um, definitely a bachelor's pad. <laughs> Yeah, I've been, been living here for about three years. Uh, yeah, I love it, love, love every second. It's been a little bit of a safe haven for me, uh, you know, before match days and coming, coming home after tours. And um, I must say, it's, uh, it's, it's one of the highlights um, of my week and my month when I, when, I, when I come back to my house. In Pretoria, we braai a lot. Uh, so, uh, indoor braai is very essential. Um, As you can see, uh, very handy. Everything was all sorted. We got some dry tongue at the bottom. We got some blitz, which is very vital. It tends to get cold in the winter in Pretoria, so um, hence the indoor dry. Just have a look at my, my pool, which is pretty clean, and I'm very proud of it. Normally, it gets dirty through the winter, but I've made a pack this particular winter to keep it clean so that when summer comes around, we can definitely hit the pool and have a few pool parties. Um, PG rated, of course. Yeah, this is uh, my room, and um, I've just done a little bit of packing. Um, not too much, but uh, as you can see, there's some nice sun that comes to the room. There's a nice view of the pool. When I mentioned earlier, the, it's vital to have a good couch um, in a bachelor pad. It's also vital to have a good bed, um, and not for the obvious reason that everybody's thinking. Um, sleep on different beds on tour and it's always nice to come home and sleep on a very firm mattress and that's one of my things and um, in a sportsman's life a good mattress is um, is always his best friend. I have a little bit of an OCD tendency in me so you know I like to fold and pack all my stuff quite neatly so even though they've come off the washing line or so to say there always seems to be a little bit of a process my mom would be so proud of me right now it's unbelievable. I like that in short sleeve shirts. Um, I don't know, just always been a thing of mine uh, over the years. So you get that nicely and fold it up. And then I like to field in long sleeve because we always dive, especially in one day in T20 cricket, we always dive in around the park and sometimes you might be fielding on the square. I have um, two massive scars on either side of my arms. Um, they kind of mirror each other actually. Hence the reason to wear long sleeve uh, jerseys, especially when you're diving on the hard pitches. Um, it kind of just saves your arms a little bit from getting jarred all the time. I generally like to um, be at the stadium slightly earlier. I like my, my place to be uh, neatly packed. I like to hit balls before um, the actual warm-up starts. And I like to um, make sure I leave it all the tickets in the, in the designated areas for my family and my friends. Um, I just like to have a little bit of time before the game, so I always like to get to the field slightly earlier. I like to blast the music. No, I'm joking. Um, I just like to play some of my favorite songs, um, get into a good space. Uh, just before the game, there's a few songs that I like to listen to. Uh, Florence and the Machine is one of them. A bit of David Goethe, a bit of Calvin Harris. Um, something upbeat just to get the mood going especially for a t20 game you know you have to be on point and there's a lot of energy about the game and everything happens so quickly and so there's definitely um, no love song being played on the way to the field once we get onto the field and once a toss is made and whether we're batting or bowling then you, you know you kind of you kind of switch on and you kind of get the, you get prep although the mental preparation starts way before then I think once a toss has happened, it's normally half an hour before the game starts, you start switching on, you start switching on to what you need to do, whether you're batting or bowling first. The crowd have come out there. Eh? Sunday afternoon in Pretoria, when the sun's out, it's not bad on the banks. I'm hoping the stands fill up just a little bit more, but as you can see, it's quite a, fam a popular family destination, um, especially with the banks being so full, and you know, the kids can run around and, and play and play, play a bit of cricket, lots of... Uh, Lots of Budavos rolls flying about the last truck and I can smell uh, one or two. Um, so yeah, it's nice and hopefully in a couple of, in a couple of minutes time it will be packed. New Zealand won the toss and uh, we, South Africa, we bowling first. So 
We just lifted up the intensity the last five, five to ten minutes. We got some time in the change room just to chill and chat about some last, um, some last minute tactics, and then hopefully hit the ground running. Uh, come, come two o'clock. Between now and the anthems, uh, I'm just gonna get ready, get some sun cream on, uh, stay hydrated, get some water and some power in, and um, yeah, just uh, focus on the gun. Welcome, one and all, to the KFC Team 20 International Series, number two. Away. Shot. Out, oh, no. Just out of reach. A bad ball off and gets a wicket. Miller this time hangs on. Straight up in the air. Does it get over? De Villiers. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. One bounce and over the rope for four. The finish and they'd have liked. 177 for seven. Gone. Cut straight to point. Four more. That's an even better shot from Amy De Villiers. Some in the eyes and take it. Oh dear. Oh, he's found the man. Has he got enough? No, he doesn't. Ah, Miller's gone. And that is a victory for New Zealand. South Africa will continue to bowl towards that World Cup in India early next year. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Eh? So thank you to the fans that came out. Uh, you guys were awesome. The banks were full. A lot of families, a lot of kids, a lot of noise. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, we couldn't pull off a win for you guys. Uh, hopefully next time. Thanks for spending a day with me. Have fun. Stay safe. Boom.